Hello everyone, it's Spawnpoint and welcome back to another video. So since I showed my desk setup just a few months ago, I've actually been looking to get myself some desktop speakers to add to it. So this is what I wanted. They had to be small, didn't break the bank and could be plugged straight into my laptop or MacBook via USB. So originally I was looking to go for a black set to add some kind of contrast to my setup. But these are the speakers that I went for. So I went for some Kanto YU2s in Walnut. So I'll quickly unbox, set them up and give you my first impressions. Then I'll go over the spec and I'll even do a sound test. And today's video does form part of my What's On My Desk series. And there's a new series I started a couple of months ago where I review and show any new gear that I add to my setup. Right, so here's the box. And let me show you everything that we get inside. So we've got the manual, which I can guarantee I will never read, along with some rubber feet to stick to the bottom of the speakers. We've also got a pack of cables. And this is actually really good as it comes with every cable that you could possibly need to get up and running. First is the USB cable. Now this is not a USB-C, which is a shame, but it's a USB-A to USB type B. We've got a three meter speaker cable wire, and this will actually connect the two speakers together. We've got a 3.5 mil cable. Now this is two meters long, and we've got the power cable as well. Then we've got one speaker, this is the left, and then we've got the right speaker as well. Now I'll show you these in a second, and this is the power pack. This is what we'll use to actually plug the power cable in. And that's it, this is everything that we get. And here they are. Now these look really, really nice. Now like I mentioned, I was gonna go for a black set, as I thought maybe the wooden would be too much, look a little bit cheap on my setup. But honestly, seeing these now, these look really, I'm so pleased that I went for these in Walnut. What do you think? Do you think these look good? Now, if you've seen my desk setup tour from a few months ago, you'll know that I like Walnut. It's a kind of the theme that I've got going on on my setup. So I've got a monitorizer, the actual desktop itself. I've got a floating bulb. So everything is in that kind of style as well. And I've got various other things around the house that has a Walnut finish to it. I think it adds a nice bit of warmth to the room. Now you can really see the grain on the wood here. So the detail is really nice. And against the black tweeter or the cone on the front, I think it's a really nice contrast. But the YU2s are also available in black, white, red, and various other colors. So if Warner isn't for you and you don't like the look of these, there are other choices available and it will fit into any setup. So on the front, we've got a tweeter and this measures just three quarters of an inch. And then you've got the main driver, the woofer, which is three inches. Now, both of these are actually made from silk. Now, the reason for this is it's actually designed to give a nice, bright, but refined sound. Now, I will give an example in a couple of minutes, but considering the size, these are absolutely awesome. And around the back, these are the ports and the connections that we're getting. And what's great about these speakers is they are actually powered and essentially bypass your computer's sound card. And it overall gives a far nicer and better audio experience. Right, so this is the volume and the power button on the top left. So obviously, just turn the dial and it will click on and off. It's also got an LED on the front of the speaker, just on the left speaker, and it will shine blue so you know whether it's switched on. Then there's the right channel out. Now this is what you would use to attach the speaker cables. And obviously you would run that from the left channel through to the right channel. Then we've got the auxiliary in. So you could connect say a mobile phone to it, for example. Then we've got the USB port, and this is what you would connect to your PC or your MacBook, for example. We've got a sub out, which I will cover later. And then we've got the power port as well. And this is how big they are. So they are pretty small. So I've got the dimensions on screen now so you can take a look. But they are also available in two larger versions. So you've got the YU4s and the YU6s. But for my current setup, these were the perfect size to go for. Right, I'm going to quickly get these set up. It'll only take about 20 seconds. So first I will attach the speaker wire from the left channel through to the right channel. Now that just needs to unscrew, fit and screw these back on. Then we just fit the other speaker cable into the right speaker channel. And then back to the right channel, we've got the USB cable and we've got the power cable to go in. And that's it. Now just to hide all of these cables so it doesn't look like a total mess, I'll just tuck these behind here so they're out of sight. Now let's power these on and take a listen. Okay, let me do a demo of what these speakers actually sound like. Now obviously this isn't going to be a very fair test as I'm recording it on my iPhone and then you're listening to it back through your device. But what I'll do is I'll play the internal speakers on my monitor then I'll compare that to the YU2 to give you kind of an idea of the two. So here's some royalty free music that I've got from Epidemic Sounds. Now this is where I get all of the music from. If you ever hear music on my videos, this is a website that I get it from. And there is a link in the description if you want to get a free month. So have a listen to this. But yeah, these sound really clear. I'm really happy with these. 
but to make them sound even better it's definitely best to put them on some speaker stands. Now there are actually two reasons for this. One is it will actually reduce the vibration of the speaker on your desktop and the second one is it will actually angle the speaker towards your ear. Now I do have some speaker stands here, these are the Kanto S2 stands. Now they sound even better now and they look awesome as well. So the mids and the highs are great, they sound really really punchy. Now I don't usually have these turned up that high as I usually have it on as background music while I'm working. But if I do turn them up they sound really clear and they do not distort at all. Now although they do sound great and they are very very clear, there is very little bass, like almost no bass at all to be honest on these speakers. Now comparing that to say my monitor or my phone, that's absolutely fine, but comparing them to any other speaker that I have in the house, there's just not enough bass here. So with that, I will probably recommend picking up a sub to go with these. Now obviously on the back of the speaker there is a sub out, and the Cantos, they actually do their own sub as well, as so you can buy a 6 inch version and an 8 inch version, but any sub or powered sub will do. It might be something that I add in the future, but right now I am happy with just the two speakers. So how much are they? Well these cost me £230, so that's about $325 with the exchange rate, but I have seen them on Amazon for as little as $240. I've also added some links in the description if you want to check these out. So they aren't cheap, but you definitely get what you pay for. And you don't need any extra hardware to power these, you just plug the USB cable into your device, into the speaker, and you're good to go. So as I mentioned, this video does form part of my What's On My Desk series, and it's a new series where I'm revealing any new items I add to my setup, whether that's speakers, or desk pads, or keyboards, so if you want to check that out, you can see a link in the description. I will also be changing my monitor over the next few weeks, and I'll probably go for a 4K one, I might even go bigger, so make sure you stick around for that. Well, you've just made it to the end of this video, so thank you for watching, and if you drop a nice speakers in the comments, I will actually give you a thumbs up as I know you're still here supporting me. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on so you don't miss my next upload. You can also follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time. This life when it's complex, if I'm loving it center. If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better. I love the weather, even though it's fog 24-7. I love the people. This is city. I met all my best friends, and I wanna thank every break. I wanna thank every entrance.